So, this is the first in a many series, this is our launch as part of the Income Training Manufacturing Group, to host open houses to take to market to grow the SME market base within the Black Country of Shropshire. So, our vision, as you can see above, is about engagement with the SME market to give them everything that they need to grow in order to be sustainable moving forward in the future. Gareth, we're here at the Marches at the first market-specific event. Yep. Why have you chosen aerospace? So aerospace really was to stimulate growth in the supply chain. So local engineering manufacturing companies, we really want to open their eyes to the opportunity that's available here. So yeah, automotive is widely known, but really there's a massive market to go into aerospace at the moment. So we thought we'd showcase the technologies and the intellectual property that we've got here. So what have you done that actually is specific to aerospace? So if you look around it's specific to aerospace, it's everything from the tooling, the CNC, the parts. When you look at the, um, the professional side of things from the legal and the accountancy, they've been able to showcase to others exactly what they've done in the aerospace industry to aid people to grow. So this has all been sector specific. So do you think it's worked? Um, to date, yeah, I think if you, if you look around, I think everybody's really engaged as to what it is. Um, with the SME market, we need to engage the disengaged, and I think that's always the piece now. So we're going to take that to market for the next one. Is Whilst the people who are here are engaged, we, there's a large piece that we really want to stimulate growth, but to stimulate growth, we've got to make sure that people are aware of the opportunities that's available to them. And I guess you need to focus on the bottom of the triangle. It's easy to get the bigger companies here, but you need to get the, the, the company, might only have four or five uh, employees. Yeah, so you look at UK wide, especially in Shropshire, for instance, micro business is 92%, I think it is, like 10 or less employees. Well, that's where the massive growth can come from. Owner managed businesses like to work in the businesses, not necessarily looking at strategy, where we want to open their eyes to actually looking at managerial development, strategising, technologies, production, systems that we can enhance their growth. What's next? Okay, so next we're looking at November. Uh, we're going to be looking at the automotive sector next with the links with Granger and Worrell. And then we're going to try and get um, two showcase people here to come and present. Um, and then we'll see how that one goes. Matthew, you're the director of the Marches Centre. Yeah, absolutely. And also, I've got a second job and I'm a director at Granger and Wallow, one of the partners who've established this centre. Now, this is a fantastic event today, predominantly based for aerospace. But what is the importance, in your words, of such events and how does it benefit Granger and Wallow? So, back in August 2015, we hosted a conference with some suppliers in the region and we said, we all want to grow both in scale which is our turnover and in scope and diversity. If we were all to do that, all that's going to happen was we were going to poach from each other and cannibalise each other's businesses. So we said we need to do something different. We collated some partners together with Salop Zone Engineering, Classic Motor Cars and Incom Training and said let's go for it, let's have a proper training facility where we can actually grow our businesses but also support other businesses within the region to grow. Is this, is this working for you? Is it successful? And can you give me examples of some of the apprentices coming through at Granger and Morrill? Yes, yeah, so this year we've got seven of our own apprentices. Next year we're going to be higher than that, maybe ten, nine or ten. But also in the SME base, there's people who've never had an apprentice who've started to put apprentices through. It's back to old school technical training and we call it base training. So it's learning those base hand skills and learning how to, to weld and how to use um, lathes and mills. And, you know, but they're functional skills that then people can progress and go right the way through the apprentice scheme to university. Now this is important and you say old, uh, old skills, however you also got the latest technology here as well. Yes, we, we have. We've got the latest technology today. What we are encouraging everybody to think about is five years out. What does your business look like in five years with low volume automation, with some of the new materials technologies coming along? What does your workforce look like in five years? Because you need to be training those people now. So it's not just the ETG that we're making a big deal of today, it's everybody that's involved in the TMG group as well, so showcasing what we have to offer to the environment. And how have you found working with the partners and doing your presentations? 
I think it's brilliant. I think coming from a machine tool background, it's not just the machine tool that you're using. It's every single aspect from the cooler to the cutting materials, even to the work holding that I've had to get engaged with, talk to the partners and get everything set up. But I'm so happy today that it's run well and everybody's enjoyed it. I've learned today that obviously there was a big shift in kind of governmental ideas and where they wanted apprenticeships to go. I was part of the Labour generation myself, obviously being uh, aged in my late 30s, where we were pushed towards university and the focus on apprentices was kind of lost and maybe moved towards more YTS, but it's fantastic to see it coming back. Yeah, it's been a really good event actually. We're, we're here, we're a little bit different. I'm from a company called Mark Forge, so we're a, a 3D printer manufacturer. And so we're here supporting one of our resellers, HK3D, who have strong, uh, strong links uh, here, here with Marches. And um, so I, I, I've kind of come along just uh, to understand what, um, what this was all about. And seeing, seeing all these people from aerospace, we obviously do a lot of, a lot of work in aerospace because we, uh, we, we specialize in making very strong 3D prints, strong and stiff. So we do a range of composite carbon fiber uh, um, and metal. 3D printers, which is obviously a kind of a hot topic at the moment, especially in aerospace and automotive. But it's been a really well attended event, and uh, I think it's the first of a few, so we'll certainly be getting more involved. On behalf of the Income Chain Manufacturing Group, all the technical partners, thank you for taking the time to come and being part of this cracking event today. Cheers, thank you. <laughs>